Welcome back, you guys. We are back with a new video and back to Genshin Impact. Oh man, I am ready to get into the the, the depth of Sumeru and trying to see what this world has to offer. I haven't visited since the last time I actually played. Uh, what was that? Like the last weekend. But we're gonna get further deep into it, even though I'm like super tired, super 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 tired. But that's okay. We're gonna do this. I got my Dendro Hero. Got my Dendro Traveler and Propagate. 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 All right. Let's go to the next quest. I forgot where it was. Here it is. For us to change. What the hell is this? There's so much shit I gotta do. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I still got. I got a shit ton of quests, y'all. I ain't even fake. I got a shit ton of quests that I ain't doing. All right. Let's go. Oh, there is a dungeon there. I need to go. Damn, that's a. Hold on. Hold on. Damn. I'm gonna have to climb. Yeah, I'm gonna have to climb. All right, let's go. Because I gotta get those. Now I wanna unlock that dungeon, too. I hope it's not no special thing I gotta do to unlock it. Cause I'm be like, oh, why? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Hmm. Well, let's gonna play some Xenoblade tonight too. But man, I'm sleepy. I don't know why I'm so sleepy. All times. All right. I want to get that. I want to get that waypoint and that dungeon. Sumeru seems very vertical, like, it's a lot of underground areas. Oh, shit, here we go with the fucking, uh, collecting those damn things again. Ugh. Oh, stamina recover. Stamina recover. Damn, how tall was his? Oh shit, these are new bad guys? Hey, let's go, let's see how new bad guys are. There is no escape! Hey, these some big motherfuckers, dude! The wind knows me. I'll scatter! Illusion shattered. Now you shall perish. Some big ass. That was a big ass bad guy, man. Oh, look, I'm gonna get all these. Okay. One with nature. Fallen leaves adorn my night. There is no escape. Propagate. Yeah. Huh? I'll keep this close. I'm gonna title this video Exploring Sumeru. <laughs> Got a Dendro Sigil. Okay. <laughs> Getting new shit. Getting new shit. What the fuck is this? Supposed to do with this? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can destroy this with Dendro, right? Or maybe not. Yeah. Or do I use? Oh, Illusion shattered. 
what the fuck is that? What am I supposed to do with that? What this is? Okay. Alright, now what? Oh, let me look at the... <laughs> let me look at the thing. There you go. When charge attacks and aim shots hit Dendragama. Oh, come on. So I gotta have me a bow character? <sighs> Let's see, dude. Let me give me a let me give me a bow character. I ain't have a good bow character. Besides official. I got official though. Official is my damn. She is. The threads of your fate lie in my hands. Okay. That didn't work. Oh wait, am I supposed to shoot it? No way. All right, I got them. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Wayne. I'm gonna have to use a bow character. I need to be using Fischl in a way. I got freaking constellations for her. Where the fuck did it go? If you don't get your ass up here. Okay, I just laid some trenches. What trinkets lie veiled within this desolate plain? Alright, let's just unlock this. Alright, Dendro artifacts. I'm glad it's like right there. But it's like right fucking there. All right, let me get this, and then I'll go back and then start this quest. <laughs> are these bad guys up here? Yeah, they are. No rest for the wicked. Actually, use Fischl. Destiny has brought me hither. All right, let's go back. So my Fischl low level. Let's see what's, what, what level Fischl is. I don't think I got no artifacts on her. I created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and the Princess and Defer oh. <laughs> Alright, hmm, I got stuff to the center. What's she use? Oh, she use small black grass here? With I'm gonna make her a little bit stronger. Cause I think I got three constellations in here. I fucking do. Oh my god. 
<risos> I created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl. Mais onde é Wish? Não sei o que Nothing. May the glory of the princessin bring light to this world. What the hell is this? So wait, can I shoot it? Can I shoot it? Not your typical place to call home, but at least it smells nice. Huh? What's the matter? You don't look too good. What? Is the smell making you feel sick? Uh oh, we're about to pay us up. <laughs> What's happening? Traveler? How come she ain't pass out from this shit? What the fuck? Interesting. Are you sure it's not serious? But yes, you can relax. Believe me, Master is extremely knowledgeable. If he says that he's going to be all right, then there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, are you awake now? Oh, thank goodness, Traveler, you're fine. Well, we're at... Uh... Good question. Where are we? Hyman was in such a panic when you passed out that she even forgot to ask what place this is. This is Gandarverville. It was originally built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. Now it's mainly used by the forest rangers as a base of operations. My name is Kale. I'm a trainee forest ranger. My master and I found you passed out during our patrol, so we brought you here. Oh, no, no things are necessary. I didn't do anything, really. By the way, how are you feeling now? Any discomfort? Oh, <laughs> that's Master's herbal medicine you're tasting. He gave you some while you were unconscious. Uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. Hmm. Whoops! 
Kale, what's the matter? Were you trying to retrieve the medicine? As I've already told you, you must be careful with these. All right. I'll get it for you once I'm finished here. Uh, sorry, Master. <sighs> now, the Guide to Avidya Forest's Edible Fungi is clearly posted on our bulletin board. <laughs> But if Farbode forgets which mushrooms to avoid one more time, I'll have no choice but to leave the guide somewhere a little more visible. Like right smack on his forehead so others can remind him to be careful. Right? This is the second time he's come down with food poisoning this month. I'll be sure to give him a good talking to. Yes, please do. If, on the off chance, Farbode simply enjoys having little imaginary fairies dance before his eyes, then we'll just let him be. But the next time he requires any of our medicine, be sure... So, how are you doing? Oh, this is my master, Forest Watcher Tainari. He is chief officer over all the rangers here in Gondarverville. I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. But now that you're awake, let me explain it for you as well. It is common practice for Sumeru scholars of certain darshans to dedicate themselves to training and meditation in isolated areas, particularly the nearby forests. While meditating, they use a certain incense known as spirit borneol to help calm their minds as they enter a state of deep rumination. In hopes of asking directions, you two followed a scholar named Hapasia into her cave. The incense you smelled inside was the spirit borneol I just mentioned. That incense typically has no effect on most people, but for a very select few, it can have profound effects on one's cognition as you experienced firsthand. Does that make sense? Very good. Now, answer me this. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences? Or did you see anything while unconscious? Yep, we saw a tree. <laughs> hmm. Kali, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Huh? Wh why Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room, and I'll bunk with Amir. Now get a move on, and be sure to do as I've said. Yes, Master Tainari. Hmm. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, can you tell us what's going on? Sure. Let me fill you in. I originally planned to send you on your way once you finished your medicine. However, it appears now that you should stay a while longer in Gondarvaville for further observation while you recuperate. Further observation? No need to be hasty. As long as you have the capacity to judge between right and wrong, I promise that you'll understand the gravity of the situation once I explain everything to you. Based on what you saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness, we can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, which suggests you're... If you're skeptical, have a whiff of this. Oh. Are you okay? You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? So even though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it's highly likely that you'd suddenly pass out again somewhere else. The rainforest is home to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. If something were to happen to you again, I'm afraid you might not be so lucky. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. At least until you stop having adverse reactions to this kind of smell, okay? Good. Now continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. Uh, Tadari seems kind of cool. we just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and right! Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali as soon as possible, but you really don't look too good. It'd probably be best to let you recover first. Uh, hey! Are you even listening to Paimon? Paimon's over here worrying about you, you know! What's weird? You mean how you're feeling now? You mean, the vision of tree roots and red skies you saw? But if those weren't hallucinations, what could they be? Well... Considering how unique you are, 
Paimon trusts your judgment here. But why didn't you say anything about it to Tainari? If he misjudged your condition, then there's a chance you could get worse, right? Huh? You mean that Tainari already knows that what you saw weren't hallucinations? But if that's the case, why would he try to hide that from us? Of oh, course he knew. Paimon gets it now. That explains... Well, that settles it then. We'll stay here to rest up and figure out what's going on, but... It seems like asking Tainari might not be an option anymore. <sighs> what do you think we should do? Good idea! Kali's pretty friendly. We can ask her tomorrow about what she knows regarding the Dendro Archon and... Rise and shine! Come on, it's time to go find Kali! Hello, they're on top of this house. Yeah, that should make it easier to travel around. All right, next let's see right hand. Hmm, but please remember that you still need to be careful. Understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master. I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. But I have a vision too! <sighs> Am I useless to everyone now? Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are. Feeling any better? Since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around you. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gundarvaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Roger, I'll be right there. All right, we'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. Yes! You can count so... Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Tainari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but... Uh... That doesn't really... Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. We handle a variety of tasks. Hmm. Like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. As for Master, well... He has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Okay. Hi, Mon, Traveler, that this sounds way. sounds boring, but we'll... You can leave the task of checking the lamps to me. In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. Our recent catch was great. We definitely have enough... Damn, I can't buy. Ooh, that look good. Wish I could cook it. Some rolls. There we go. <laughs> Lamps. Let's move to the next. <gasps> oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. Hmm, no problems with this lamp. Good. <gasps> the statue of the seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have oh, seen it when you came down this road before. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't... Oh? I guess I'll leave it up to you then. Paimon will fly up with you and help you with those hard to re... Um, by the way, Kale, do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? You know, what's she like? Uh, that depends. 
Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Wait a minute, I got huh? two fucking. Greater Lord Rukudavata? Oh, I'm is glad that she, the I'm name surprised of the she said that shit right. Uh huh. Greater Lord Rukudavata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her works provided a means of peaceful living for to the people of Sumeru. She's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred... According to what Masters told me, hmm. the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasana. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Well, and then... Ah... Uh, uh, I'm not too sure what ha Huh? You're not too sure? Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, th No, no, it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. But uh, anyway... Y you two know Amber, right? Wait, Amber? You mean... Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. There's no one like Damn, Amber. Amber knows everybody. She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call. If you ask me, she's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. You can't help but be enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm. Causing you to fall. Dang, she really like Amber. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Paimon thought the work of Outriders was a little different from what you just described, but to one thing's for sure. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I was rambling on just now. <laughs> it's alright, Kale. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to. Amber, they is to you. Well, after I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler, and there- I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But, uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought- Ah, so that's how you knew! Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust. Really, I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon. But I have been away from Sumeru for some time, and I haven't read any books. That's all right. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Rukudavata or the Sanctuary of Surathana until you mentioned that. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Hmm. So that's why you're here. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? <laughs> all right, we have a statue to clean. You both have my thanks. Hmm. Well, you two are up there cleaning. I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet back here shortly. Come on the top. Can I use? Oh my god! You know what? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm a cheat. Don't mind me. I ain't got time now that for this Paimon shit. looks at it, the deity that's carved on the statue is kind of small. Hmm. Do you think she's supposed to be Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? The name does seem to fit the statue somehow. Well, anyway, we'll have to figure that out later. Let's get started on cleaning the statue. Paimon will fly up and. Our first mission was clean the statue. That's one clean statue. Let's head down and meet up with Kale. Where's she at? There she is. Tired after all that climbing. Let's take a little break. Yay, food! What kind of goodies did you bring? Hey, don't be a party pooper. It's not like Kale is a stranger or anything. Besides, 
The best way to compliment a chef, I prepared a nice portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Pita Pockets. I, uh, wh what the? No, you dropped it on the ground! Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. Oh, <sighs> Paima nearly had a heart attack there. Paima loves some food, boy. Are they gonna give the Those recipe for that? These are amazing! Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. Paima wouldn't have been able to sleep at night knowing something so. <laughs> you really know how to compliment the mm. chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own. Yay! Thanks, Kale! It's hard to believe someone as diligent as. Oh! <laughs> uh, so, uh, Kale, mm. don't you think that Tainari's a little too strict with you? He won't let yeah, you no. touch anything without his permission. Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but he's never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy mo- No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit hard. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called... Uh, um, well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, sages from the Academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. <laughs> Seems you already know him well. Anyway, I'm sure the sages were not you happy know, about man, this, Master you. could obviously have a bright future in the Academia. But he insists on sticking to the path of a forest watcher. Every day he helps the locals of the forest and passes on. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make people. Really? Paima would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little, but, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh, why? Is he going to die? It huh. probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. Hey! was genuinely concerned about you. <laughs> hey! Now even Kali started to laugh. Ugh, that's it! Paimon won't forget this! It's time for some Paimonial wrath! Well, Paimon, never be no! quiet. Don't touch me! <sighs> oh, sorry, Kale. Paimon didn't mean to scare you. Uh, no, I... I just... Uh, Kale, are you okay? I What's the matter? Touched. No, uh... I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I must have startled you both react... Oh, well, it's getting late now. Uh, let's hurry back to Gandharva. Hmm. Huh? What was up with Kale just now? And why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? Hmm. <laughs> well, did she got some kind of curse or something? Huh. Traveler, you've returned. Yep, we're back. Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Oh, Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh. Okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Man, this place, the Sumeru does look big. The uh, Sumeru does look big, though. It looks big as well. Paimon was thinking all night about what happened with Kale, and still can't figure out what the problem might be. Maybe she's in a better mood now. Let's go. Ah, it's you two. 
I was just about to go look for you. Huh? Tainari? What are you doing here? Where's Kale? I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. You mean she's sick? How could she be... Oh, wait a minute. No, no need to worry. <laughs> something as small as you could never harm her. Uh, this sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been ref- So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? Um, let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her med- Hmm. Why we had to come all the way down here for a conversation? All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. So, just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because, well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. But she insisted saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to- So Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something- Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued, and in its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. God damn! Yeah, that sounds bad. Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier? Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for El Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. What? The Fatui? Ah, it appears you are already familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. 
She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next... Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, though I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarva. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I f her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long distance... <sighs> All right. Now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll... Yeah, we'd like to do something to help... All right, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering like the tra... No problem! Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as Lunar Lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with... Hmm, okay. Hey, Tainari? Are we going to find this plant? Lunar Lotus can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gundarvaville. Hmm. If I follow that. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. Lunar Lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Is it Quite an attractive tough? species, if you ask me. The large petals are oh actually God, the plant's leaves and tough. sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. Oh! Yeah, people are there. Um... Okay, then. No, Tabaiman. Never bring up the topic of flowers with Kainari. <laughs> uh, okay. something up here. I need to climb. My stamina recover. <laughs> He's up here somewhere. They don't have many fucking uh waypoints. Oh shit. Oh, 
I'll keep this close. So once I hit quick and I hit aggravate, and that's what causes that reaction. Oh shit, can I climb up higher? Yeah, I can. Stamina <sighs> recover. Stamina recover. Just going for the waypoint. Y'all don't mind me. It's gotta be up here somewhere. There it is. There's me waypoints as possible. Got a lot of mountains for a rainforest. There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's split up and begin searching. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the. I already got them. All right. Oh wait. Hey, Tiny. Go we found the lotuses. You Let me take a look. Hmm. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we. Hey, Tainari. Oh, Tainari, someone's calling your name. Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? Let's go find out what's going on. Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at- What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already cleared just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. What the fuck is a withering? And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I could No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading, so we did- Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. Hmm, I'll go deal with it right away. Wait, Kainari! What you two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many- There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainfall. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before- Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is- As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's cor- That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper I abilities like the deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. But you don't seem to carry a vision. Don't worry. He may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm. It seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, all right. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception. I gotta see this withering. I was gonna stop playing, but I gotta see this withering. Man, I like I'm liking Sumeru's area though. It's like it's really green. It's a real fucking rainforest. You. St 
Stop. Don't move any further. Look there in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kind of gloomy. Even the... Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, Traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call Tumors of the Withering. If we thank you, but I must warn you, don't push yourself. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return uh, outside of the zone and take a breather. It could become a map. You ready then? Oh, uh, it's like one of those fucking areas and like the freeze area or the area and uh First we must locate any you know branches about? sustaining the withering zone. Knows me. All the branches have been cleared. We'll need to take care of the tumor. Bruh, this shit here. Yeah, they're doing a lot of damage when they hit me with shit. All right. Oh shit, you want? There is no escape. Tumors of the withering. Thanks to you two. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but... It's that obvious, huh? Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. 
Even though we were able to quickly clear that hmm. withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant war work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Col huh? well, what hey. I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with... No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It said, by the way, have you heard of Ermansol before? Nope. Ermansol is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grew... I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? Yes. They're like the roots of Ermansol, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermansol. Allowing it to collect enough. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin's soul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gondarvaville. Awesome. All right, so we got a little taste of what uh, Sumeru's gonna be like. We're gonna continue the story later on, you guys. I am sleepy. I'm finna to take a nap. I'm tired. Well, to go to sleep and then go to work in the morning. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to continue more Sumeru and continue this adventure, you guys. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <sighs>